Uh, anybody want to tell me what's wrong with this child here? Yeah. Black people, I think they're all ugly and I have nothing in common with them. I'm different from African Americans because I'm white. All right. You want to talk about it? Let's talk about it. Talk about it. We need to be talking about the underlying issue and how we can address what's going on with this little girl on a bigger scale. All right? Cool. So let's start with two things. There are two major things that I think are important when we're considering what's going on with this little girl. One is that from the time we're born, we're programmed. We are being programmed with things like media, feeding us images of who and what black people are, movies, radio, the news. It's all feeding us these stereotypes, stereotypical images. What is a black person? Angry, loud, a criminal, a pimp, a gangster, a hoe, a baby mama broken family, were fed all of these images of what Black people allegedly are, these stereotypes are not real and do not apply to everybody. But when that's all we're shown in media, you know, what are you supposed to, what are you supposed to think? Now, point number two that makes this girl at a real disadvantage is that she was born and spent the first years of her life living rich in a white neighborhood around white people. So that means that this little child didn't have black people surrounding her in her reality. All she had was the stereotypes that media was giving her. And that's where she was forming her basis of what black people are. Of course she had her mom and dad, but that's mom and dad. We're talking outside world influences. So that that's what she had and then from being there in that environment she was moved to the hood now there's nothing wrong with the hood at all i'm i'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being in the hood okay but when you go from living in the lap of luxury to moving to the hood as a young child now imagine woo culture shock and not only that, but this is a young child, which means she had to go to school, which means she's probably being bullied because she's the new kid. People picking on her because of her gap to smile, whatever the reasons like that, that mm, when all you have is a stereotype and then you're introduced your introduction to black culture is. Oh, wow, I'm new to the hood and I don't fit in here. What do you think that did for this child's psyche? Like, you don't think that might have created a certain trauma associated with, oh, my God, all the stereotypes are true. Oh, my God, they hate me. Oh, my God, I don't fit in here. Oh, my God, what am I supposed to do? Uh, uh, panic, panic. <laughs> that was horror movie music because I'm sure that's what it was like for that small child. Okay, now back on task. So she's fed all of this like stereotypical stuff and she's put in this environment. And so now she's formed this idea. I'm not like them. I don't belong here. I can't be black if this is what black is, right? So where's the problem? that she wasn't given proper representation. She wasn't able to see images of black leading ladies, black artists, black entrepreneurs, black people living freely and fighting for what they believe in and being happy and being themselves. That's not the life this little girl saw. That's not what media showed her. So how can we expect her to think or know anything different if we don't give the images, if we don't show the truth, if we don't speak reality, how are people supposed to know? They can't. You see, unfortunately, we've been distracted. Not just black people, people across cultures, we've been distracted. We've been stopped from knowing who we are and loving who we are. Why? Why would that happen? 
Because if you knew who you were and you operated in the fullness of that, you'd be unstoppable. Then they wouldn't be able to control you. Hmm. What a thought. Somebody need to sit you down and tell you how beautiful you are and how wonderful it is to be black. But first, we got to straighten your ass out.